Recently, I was in Zurich, Switzerland for my husband's job. So we had actually lived in Zurich from 2015 to 2018. Then we moved back to the States, to New York City. And then in 2021, went back to Zurich for two months. And it was really interesting and crazy, basically going back to my life three years ago, because the city in Zurich just didn't really change. So we were in the same apartment, same city, our same friends were there, and it was just weird being back there, but as a different person. It was very trippy. So anyways, one of the things I wanted to share was a moment when I was waiting in the rain for my train to come. And on the train platform, usually you can stand under an awning or a covering where the bench is in case there's weather like snow or or rain. And so I'm sitting there and I am thankful because I have, you know, my leggings, my coat, I have my umbrella, my boots. So it was relatively easy to go out and do things regardless of the rain. And so this thought came to me that you could look at the sleet, the clouds, and the cold, and those were all reasons for staying inside. I could have easily been like, nope, I'm not going to move, not going to do anything. I'm staying indoors. And then I thought, well, you have an umbrella, fleece leggings, a heavy coat. Those are all reasons to go out and to do the errands or visit the place or do the thing, right? And it just occurred to me how amazing humans are. Like we figure out how to have options to become stronger because of adversity. And I believe this is why we've survived as long as we have. We see adversity. We see things that normally would make you cower in or hide or like stop life. But we decide to figure out how to keep moving on anyway. And that goes in line with this book I read called Anti-Fragile, where The reason things survive for as long as they do is because they become stronger from adversity. And that's what anti-fragility is. And I think it's really cool that humans have that ability to be anti-fragile. The idea that everyone has equal opportunity to those options is another story. So that's obviously I want to recognize that some people don't have the privilege or the opportunity to have the clothing or to have the home or like different things that most of us can have access to. So definitely want to acknowledge that. But my question is, will you be the person who feels victim to the clouds and sleet where you cower away, hide away, and you allow things to act upon you? Or will you be the person who invents the umbrella and leggings so you can keep living your life? I think those two options, each person has a completely different mindset. And it really just implanted in me the idea that I want to make sure I'm the person who becomes stronger because of adversity, that I allow things to be seen as happening for me. And because it's happening for me, how can I become stronger from this?